Hello guys, welcome back to the FE exam review series where we solve FE problems that's going to help you guys with your FE preparation. In today's video, we're going to do mechanical design and analysis section problem, specifically under part I, joining methods. So let's dive in. Oh yeah, before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that my team is currently working on creating a PDF that's going to have all the FE problems that we have shared with you guys so far on our YouTube channel. And we're going to have also the answer and then the link to the YouTube video in case you do get the wrong answer and you need to watch the full solution. OK, and this PDF is also going to contain some tips uh, that's going to help you guys throughout your FE journey. So if you are interested in getting that PDF, go, go ahead and sign up here and we'll send it to you guys once it's ready. Now let's go over the problem. So we have an aluminum joint that consists of a bolt with a diameter of eight millimeters and an area of 50 millimeters squared. The bolt material has a modulus of elasticity of 69 gigapascal and a grip length of 50 millimeters. And we want to determine the stiffness of the bolt. Okay. So the first thing to note guys here is that we have a joint okay so that's so if you go to the mechanical design and analysis there is a joining method section and then in there you're going to find the equation for the stiffness of the bolt now you are given two equations to actually determine the stiffness of the bolt so what i want you guys to do is go ahead and pause this, this video and then think about which equation we're going to need to use to solve this problem okay so again as i always mention guys in our videos it's very important that you guys try these problems on your own and this is why we are actually creating that pdf file that i mentioned earlier because this way you're going to have to try the problem on your own and then if you get the wrong answer then you can uh click on the youtube link and then watch the full solution okay so very very important that you guys attempt these problems on your own because this is how you're going to learn how to solve these problems okay so go ahead and pause it and i will see you guys in a little bit Okay, guys, so as I mentioned earlier, to determine the stiffness of the bolt, we're going to go to the reference handbook and take a look at the equation, okay? Now, here we have two equations that we can use to determine the bolt stiffness. Now, which equation do we use? Well, so this equation, the second equation here, we can use that when all the members within the grip are of the same material, okay? Which is the case in the problem that we have okay and that material is aluminium and so what we're going to do is we're going to also use this table here to determine the variable a and b so we as i mentioned the joint we have is made of aluminium so a is going to be this number here and then b is going to be this number here okay so let's go ahead and write the equation down now let's go ahead and write the equation down okay and then also guys if you are enjoying this video please don't forget to like and subscribe it really helps the channel out immensely and then also please share our channel with your friends who are trying to pass the fe exam and this way it's going to help us create more content and be able to help you guys with your fe exam and then maybe even the pe exam in the future who knows okay so now let's go ahead and finish up this problem so here we're going to do d times e and then a and then e to the power of b times d over l okay now when we plug in the numbers into this equation we gotta be careful with the units because we do want the answer in giga newtons per meter okay so first we have the diameter so that's going to be eight millimeters okay now we are going to divide the diameter by a thousand so that we can get meters okay so again guys here we have gigapascal so that's the same thing as giga newtons per meter squared we do want the answer in per meter which means we have to convert this to meters okay and then we're going to multiply it by e that's the modulus of elasticity which is 69 gigapascal so what i'm going to do here is write the full units so we're going to write giga newtons per meter squared this way we're going to make sure that the units cancel now let's go ahead and multiply this by a so careful guys here a it's not the area okay so a is the value that we got from the table it's going to be 0 0.7967 okay and then we're going to multiply by e to the power of b which is 0 0.63816 then we're going to multiply it by the diameter which is eight millimeters and then divide it by the length which is 50 millimeters okay and by the way guys if you enjoying these videos and you like the problems that we post make sure that you guys check out our courses we cover a lot of concepts and a lot of problems and i talk more about that 
at the end okay so if you guys want to learn more about courses stay tuned till the end now here note guys that i didn't really convert the diameter and the length to meters because there is no need because the the units here they just cancel so even the conversion if i do eight divided by a thousand and then 50 divided by a thousand that thousand also going to cancel each other so there is no need to convert here to meters okay this is just a little tip to save you a little bit of time during the exam you can convert it it won't hurt you but there is no need okay so now if we go over the units here which i already did so note guys the meter squared cancels with the meters so we left with giga newtons per meter that's the unit that we want and now if you guys plug these numbers in your calculator you're gonna get about 0 0.49 okay so the answer here is going to be p so this is how we solve these type of problems so again guys we can only use this equation if all the members within the group have the same material. And uh, yeah, so just keep note of this. Uh, make sure that you guys, if there's anything here that you're afraid that you're going to forget during your exam, make sure that you guys add it to your cheat sheet. Uh, so that way you can review that cheat sheet before your FE exam and then you can remember this stuff, okay? And then also we do have a cheat sheet that has a very important concepts and equations. And we also clarify a lot of the equations that are on the reference handbook. So if you guys are interested in that cheat sheet, you can download it here. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the channel out immensely. Now, if you guys are looking for more FE problems or if you are looking for a course that's going to help you guys pass your FE exam, make sure to check out our courses. We do cover a lot of concepts. Now, the FE exam has a lot of conceptual questions, so we cover that. And we also do a lot of problems and I solve every single problem on a video format just like we do here on our YouTube channel. So check it out. It all our courses are lifetime access as well and if you are interested in fe other disciplines course make sure to sign up here and we'll send you guys an email once we launch it okay now thank you guys for watching i hope you have a great productive week and i will see you guys on the next video à la prochaine <laughs>